structure and functions. Learning about cell structure The world has many different kinds of organisms which look very different from each other. We know that things around us are either living or non-living. The bodies of all living organisms, animals, plants and human beings are made up of cells. Cells are capable of carrying out all the functions of a living organism such as movement, respiration, digestion and so on. Just as bricks are the building blocks of houses, cells are the building blocks of our lives, of all the living organisms. They are so minute that they can only be seen with the help of a microscope. Therefore, a cell is the smallest unit of life. Discovery of the Cell Robert Hooke in 1665 observed slices of cork under a simple magnifying device. Cork is a part of the bark of a tree. He, he took thin slices of cork and observed them under a microscope. He noticed partition boxes or compartments in the cork slice. These, these boxes appeared like a honeycomb. He also noticed that one box was separated from the other by a wall or a partition. Robert Hooke coined the term cell for each box. When Hooke observed as boxes or cells in the cork were actually dead cells. Cells of living organisms could be observed only after the discovery of improved microscopes. Very, very little was known about the cell for the next 150 years after Robert Hooke's observations. The Cell Both bricks in a building and cells in the living organisms are basic structural units. The buildings, though built of similar bricks, have different designs, shapes and sizes. Similarly, in the living world, organisms differ from one another but all are made up of cells. Cells in the living organisms are complex living structures unlike non-living bricks. Organisms show different variety in cell number, shape and size. Scientists use microscopes which magnify objects. Stains, dyes are used to color parts of the cell to study the detailed structure. There are millions of living organisms. They are of different shapes and sizes. Their organs also vary in shape, size and number of cells. Let us study about some of them. Number of cells can you guess the number of cells in a tall tree or in a huge animal like the elephant? Number of cells run into millions and trillions. Human body has trillions of cells which vary in shapes and sizes. Different groups of cells perform a variety of functions. Organisms made of more than one cell are called multicellular. Multi, many, cellular cells, organisms. The number of cells being less in smaller organisms does not in any way affect the functioning of the organisms. You will, you will be surprised to know that an organism with billions of cells begins life as a single cell which is the fertilized egg. The fertilized egg cell multiplies and the number of cells increases as development proceeds. Amoeba and paramecium organisms are made up of single cell. The single celled organisms are called unicellular organisms. Uni, one, cellular, cell. Single celled organism performs all the necessary functions that multicellular organisms perform. A single celled organism like amoeba captures and digests food, respires, excretes, grows and reproduces. Similar functions in multicellular organisms are carried out by groups of specialized cells forming different tissues. Tissues in turn form organs.
place a permanent slide of amoeba and paramecium under a microscope. Shape of cells The shape of amoeba appears irregular. In fact, amoeba has no definite shape unlike other organisms. It keeps on changing its shape. The projections of varying length protruding out of its body are called pseudopodia. Pseudo, false, podia, feet. These projections appear and disappear as amoeba moves or feeds. What advantage does amoeba derive by changing the shape? The change in shape is due to the formation of pseudopodia which facilitates movements and help in capturing the food. A white blood cell, WBC, in human blood is another example of a single cell which can change its shape. But while WBC is a cell, amoeba is a full-fledged organism capable of independent existence. What shape would you expect in organisms with millions of cells? Let us study different cells such as blood, muscle and nerve cells of human beings. The different shapes are related to their specific functions. Generally, cells are round, spherical or elongated. Some cells are long and pointed at both the ends. They exhibit spindle shape. Cells sometimes are quite long. Some are branched like the nerve cell or a neuron. The, the nerve cell receives and transfers messages, thereby helping to control and coordinate the working of different parts of the human body. Can you guess which part of the cell gives its shape? Components of the cell are enclosed in a membrane. This membrane provides shape to the cells of plants and animals. Cell wall is an additional covering over the cell membrane in plant cells. It gives shape and rigidity to these cells. Bacterial cells also has a cell wall. Size of the cells Size of the cells in living organisms may be as small as a millionth of a meter, micrometer, or micron or may be as large as a few centimeters. However, most of the cells are microscopic in size and are not visible to the unaided eye. They need to be enlarged or magnified by a microscope. The, sp the smallest cell is of 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacteria. The largest cell measuring 170 millimeter into 130 millimeter is the egg of an ostrich. Activity Carefully observe a boiled egg after removing the shell. A white material surrounds the yellow part. White material is albumin, which solidifies on boiling. The yellow part is the yolk. It is part of the single cell. You can observe the single cell without any magnifying device. The, the size of the cells has no relations with the size of the body of the animal or the plant. It is not necessary that the cells in the elephant be much bigger than those in a rat. The size of the cell is related to its function. For example, nerve cells both in elephant and rat are long and branched. They perform the same function, that of transferring the messages. All organisms are made up of smaller parts called organs. Organs are made up of still smaller parts. The smallest living part of an organism is called a cell. C cells were first observed in a cork by Robert Hooke in 1665. Cells exhibit variety of shapes and sizes. Some organisms are single-celled while others contain a large number of cells. The single cell of unicellular organisms 
performs all the basic functions performed by a variety of cells in multicellular organisms.